And finally, we've made it to the conclusion of the video, and I'll be honest guys, this is kind of a cliffhanger. So if you guys remember back to video game play of Figure Mortal 7, I showed off a large posable Fox and Marth sculpture directly from Super Smash Bros. Melee. And after these two characters were sculpted, I was supposed to get around to sculpting a Captain Falcon in the same manner, which was planned back in 2012. Unfortunately, Captain Falcon never saw the light of day, and while I had no plans to revive him, that didn't mean I was done with Super Smash Bros. Melee. Initially, I had the idea to sculpt the posable Dr. Mario for this video, which would have gone along the same lines as Fox and Marth did from before. But the idea came to me so spontaneously that I didn't think it was worth it to try and rush the sculpt just to get it done. So instead of sculpting just the Doctor in large form, I decided to sculpt him in miniature form. Along with seven other characters from Super Smash Bros. Melee, which ultimately begins the miniature Super Smash Bros. Melee set. For many months I've had the idea to sculpt a set like this simply due to the fact that having every character from one of my favorite games of all time at my viewing disposal whenever I finish the last character will absolutely be worth it. And in due time, all 25 characters will be sculpted, as the foundation of this set is quite different than any other set I've made before. Back when Brawl was the big game in town, I began creating a Super Smash Bros. Brawl set with hopes to sculpt all of the characters from the game in a chibi slash stylized form. This idea was scrapped not too long after it was started because aside from Brawl's roster not being my favorite thing at the time, the models were awkward and bulky and I wasn't content in the direction I was taking the set in. So if this melee set was ever going to be taken seriously, I didn't want to go large or gimmicky again. So as a result, I settled for miniature sculpts of characters from a game whose roster I'm really fond of. This set is also sculpted with scale in mind so all of the characters thus far are sized accordingly to one another and will continue to be scaled when more are created. Each character's pose is a mix of character select screen art, official character art, and the character's idle stances. As for difficulty, each character took around an hour to sculpt, give or take. Not only that, but this set has already forced me to scrap 8 character attempts mid-sculpture, due to a number of different reasons. This set is going to be relentlessly challenging, and perhaps the raw endurance of the set is what's going to be hardest for me to keep up with. And with that said, I hope you guys were fully entertained and very much enjoyed by this latest installment of a video series that has given me the motivation to start, finish, and continue so many characters and sculptures that otherwise never would have seen production or completion. Sometimes I like to think of this like E3 in a sense because it showcases my newest works only once a year and is hyped up quite a bit from when I announced production has started. Of course, I have no plans to call it quits anytime soon as there are always old characters that need to be resculpted and new characters to try my hand at for the first time, with all that detail, thought, and innovation in between. So with that said guys, I'd like to thank you for watching as we wrap up Video Game Clay for your Marvel 11. The sculpting will always continue, but of course, it takes time. So until I showcase my newest sculptures again, and until the next video, I'm L Supersonic Q, and as always, Finn.